one. We're live. There he is. What's going on? Manganese Show. Sonic <laughs> Garden Radio Live. <laughs> Sunday. Gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Mang and Need Show. Hello, live on Sonic Gardens Radio. Uh, you know, want to say thank you to all the new subscribers out there. Thank and you. Uh, you know, this is our 42nd day straight of running this show daily, uh, playing Sonic Gardens music. Uh, different artists recorded at Sonic Gardens. This what you're listening to here is Cosmic Theo out of Ithaca, New York. Oh, and uh, this is a uh, it's a one man loop band, live looping on the spot. The song's called Poetry in Motion. Well, can't you see that this here is sacred? It's a night for the taking. This is our. At the main desk, Mr. Josh Uwa Needham. I there made it, are, man. I made it. You made it. So yeah, once again, that's uh, Cosmic Theo. If you like that, I got a, I got a few more tunes. Uh, play something full a little bit later after yeah. we get going here. Um, it was a good day. But yeah, man, he's been doing some cool things over there. Um, man, how you doing, Theo? It's raining out. Yeah, man. Nasty day, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What can you do? Thank the good Lord. Thank the good Lord for the <laughs> rain and the crops. Because <laughs> what else can you do? Oh, boy. What so, fuck up happened today or yesterday? Um, As far as? What do you mean? We got to turn Theo down a little bit in my ears. Oh. You're cranking. Good move. Good move. You just got to let me know, bro. I did. That's, that's, that's what I was all doing you guys today. Do. Just reaching out. I forget about that little uh, part of it. Yeah, it's all right. I just have trouble hearing you, and I know you're saying something. I'll make sure I get it right. Um, <sighs> no, I was just wanting to say again, you know, thanks to the new subscribers. Anybody oh, yeah. tuning in, we are a music studio in central New York uh, designed to capture the audio and video live performance i mean we do uh we definitely can do uh track recording we can make music video we can do anything man down here but uh yeah. basically full music production studio like um and uh you five know five tool player and we, we just kind of juggle around we like right now we can't do a lot of uh gathering so we've been running this show we're here 42 days matches up with the um Central New York quarantine order and yeah, uh, our day current, they shut it down, our stay in place deal. So, um, yeah, man. So, here we are. What'd you get? You get a sound or something? You sound like you heard gunshots or something. Uh, <laughs> you looked like you heard some gunshots. Um, now nah, the heater uh, must turn now. Oh, yeah, I think that's what I heard. Okay, cool, but yeah. It got my attention. Undivided attention it got. Yes. I hear it a little bit. I heard a little oh. hiss come through. Shh. That's the heater coming on. Yeah. What can you do? Warming it up, mother. <laughs> yeah, so, man, I'm I'm uh, completely off as far as uh, news. But really? I, but I, but, um. You're not hip with the news? But I saw a clip this morning of, uh. 
Brad Pitt doing the uh, cold open for Saturday Night Live's deal that's been going on. Yeah. Did you I, see it? Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. It Come was, on. He did. He's. He's. He did okay. I mean, he didn't. It was like a. It was pretty good, man. Then he took his mask off. He's still a smoke show, isn't he? All the women like him. <laughs> yeah. Um. Quarantine isn't treating him bad. I thought that was a really good sketch, though. It was funny. It was funny, man. It that was, was all good. right. I think uh, he's like, if you really think about it, he hasn't been in like a ton of movies, and he always has to play that same guy that's like, but when he does get to shine, like in a movie like Snatch or oh. um, was he or even the, that, that monkeys? latest. Was he in that Monkeys oh, that movie? One, yeah, that movie. Was Seven cool. of them? Yeah, uh, 12, I think, wasn't it? Oh. 12 Monkeys. Oh, um, that was pretty cool. I knew there was some in there, more than one. He was also in uh, Hollywood. There, he was in that rem. Okay, remember how we talked about uh, how Taxi, Taxi got remade? We were talking oh. about that with Warner. Like Taxi got remade with uh, Christian Slater, and it was called True Romance. Oh, but they boy. didn't really like call it out. That's your boy, Christian but Slater. That, uh, huh? that, <laughs> that Brad Pitt, um, he. Uh, was like the the bad guy in that movie, I think, or something. Oh, I can't. Wasn't remember. he like the Fight Club dude and shit? Yeah. Then of course, Fight Club was good. Yeah, he's been in a lot of good movies. He that was one in a that, movie with what's her name with the Smiths or some shit. That was pretty cheeseball. You didn't like it, huh? Too no. a, too much action for you. Too. <laughs> yeah, I don't find like I don't find any fun in like just watching. I mean, I'm not it, saying like, it was like, great. Like but... twenty minute gun battles. Like, oh. You kind of like know the outcome. Like, I oh. get it, like, surprise situations, but, like, movies that are just, like, you know, 30-minute car chases, and you kind of, especially when, like, like maybe a movie's based around some kind of righteous act. What and fucking then, movie you've been watching has a 30-minute car chase? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's, like, longer than OJ was. All right, listen, I'm, exa uh, I'm, all right, I'm exaggerating, oh, but, boy. but still, that's what I'm saying, man, is that, like, and like like those Fast and Furious movies don't do it for me. The John Wick movies don't do it for me because they're just like these extended fight scenes in these dark situations. I haven't been like, able to catch any of John Wick. Yeah, and, and I mean, like, I saw the first Fast and Furious, but not nothing after that. Like I like action, you know. I like yeah. it, and I like um a little bit of hot action. Yeah, you know, it's just like. More and more, the scenes are really um, sporadic and chaotic. Like whether it's a um, yeah, they're all related. You too. know, a, a a fight scene in the dark, or like a um, you know, yeah. a car ride, or you know, and it's just like it's super stimulating. And like, I guess I get it. You know, like I remember asking somebody once what they liked about Fast and Furious, and they were like, "Oh, the I, dudes." I, well, they were like, I love cars and oh. stuff and like that whole thing. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, well, there's two you know, no, cars. No offense to anybody that does like that stuff, you know, but yeah. That was a NASCAR race. What did he say? It was a NASCAR race, dude. Yeah. Uh, Fight Club. Yeah, so Derek, welcome back, bro. Big D? Good, good Is to that see Big you D? Out there. He's out there? Yeah, man. Hey, man. He seems to be uh, tuning in pretty regularly here. He's a good guy. I know him. He's yeah. a pretty good guy. If it's the same big D. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, you know, I just, it is what it is. Like, I, uh, you know, that's uh, that's my taste. Whatever. Who cares? Oh, I love it. But, yeah, and car yeah. chases, you stuff like, like myth that. Mythical well, creatures, right? You're into that? Yeah. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> um, I just float away. Yeah. So, no, man, uh, I don't know. You know, we've talked about some of the things I like, um, but obviously. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I'm usually just talking. Just just rambling on rambling like Rose. On. Yeah. Ramble on, Rose. Um, there was no uh, conference yesterday. Oh, they didn't do it. Everybody's um, no. it's like it's just got out of control, man. Oh, you think do you think that's the word for it? Yeah, oh. definitely. I'd say that's like exactly the word for the press conference. Yeah, because it's uh, I think that that you know what's kind of funny is that 
like he hasn't given these press conferences and he hasn't had a uh, press secretary out there in a while. Like the last person, we never even like I can't I don't even know what the person looked like. He likes to go out and talk. Like a, a it's female. a lady. Yeah, she ran her course and actually is now. She was out. running the yip the other night. I thought, and she never. She well, was defending him. I'm not sure. I, from what I understood, somebody oh. was leaving without ever giving one press conference. Oh no! And then, uh, so then all of a sudden, it turns into like it's literally him. So if you remember before, it was like Sarah Sanders was getting oh, yeah. like she was so good daily. Too. She was getting bashed. That Sean Spicer was getting bashed every day. And there's actually been two more since then because I think a guy took over. Oh yeah. And then a girl took over. And I can't. I don't know what either of them look like because they never gave any uh, any conferences. Well, they look smart, and and then uh, <laughs> and then all of a sudden this thing happened, and somebody obviously was like, "Okay, Donald, you got to go out there and like you know calm the people." They're like, so he's D, like, "Oh, I'm gonna do it. Go this out is and my, talk. This is my chance to like do my rallies to the world." You know. Well, <clears> I mean, everybody's covering it. And uh, it just gets to be a little he's, bit. He saw he's got good ratings. He said so. He just well, that's why he just goes out like he's he misses the TV show life back when he was exactly, and that's what he's good for. It's like go back, start a, like a news channel, and have all your you know minions. Uh, he doesn't. Out. He's not good with money. I don't think they're in control. I don't though, think man. he's very good. What? I don't think he's very good with money. I think he knows how to borrow it. Yeah. We'll see. All right. We'll see how all that pans out, you know. Well, pan, yeah. <laughs> Fucking A. What uh? What else you got for me? Oh, uh, that's it, man. Oh, I, you don't I, have nothing uh, else for me? No, I didn't really. Like I said, I didn't do any much uh, preparation. Oh, I good. Was, uh, so, I was busy last night. Yeah, and, uh, good for you. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't have a lot of... Uh, I wasn't really keeping track of anything. Like I said, that was like kind of all I saw was that that one video. Um, man, I guess, you know, I guess, sure, there's like always stuff. Oh, the Kim Jong-un oh. thing. That's like a curious thing. It's oh. like, what's up with that? Um, I told you it could only be two things. Yeah. He's dead or he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Um... I don't, I, uh, yeah, if he's, uh, he either told, I don't know, I don't know, he either told them to say it or, or he's really dying. <laughs> he might want to hide out for a while. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, though, by the sounds of it. So, uh, hey, everybody out there. Hey. We're looking to get 1,000 subscribers. We're on yeah. this uh, campaign. We're hoping to, uh, you know, make this thing, get this thing going a little bit, you know, heavy. Get some uh, participation. Nothing I like... I know it's a rough time of day, you know, necessarily. Oh. Some people are kind of like in the middle of their uh, routines. Yeah, they're hanging outside in the rain. Today. So a lot of, a lot of people <laughs> watch at different times. Oh, yeah, Derek says that Kim Jong-un is dead. Maybe that's what I heard. Like no, but I saw I saw a clip like where my news flashed and it said it it said that, and then when I went to read Angela, the article, it disappeared. It would be all over the place. Well, that's what it was. They obviously, had, no one's gonna be able to confirm. No, I didn't see it anywhere. I mean, no, I but, saw like a rumor like article, but yeah, that's about all I saw. That's about all I saw today. Was that uh, they just don't know where he is. Nobody's seen him. Oh. Okay, here's... He disappeared. So. Maybe yeah. he got whacked. Whack, he got whacked off. He was at the same parlor that uh, Robert Kraft was at in Florida down there. What uh, <laughs> Yeah, they don't know where he is. There's a little... I just see a little thing here. He's hiding out, man. He's probably meeting up with Trump somewhere. So, so uh, Munchkin. Uh, vaccine He's, chief has been ousted. Oh, oh no! It's gonna set us back, they say. 
Uh, what what happened? What's they, gonna set us back? I don't know. They just ousted some vaccine chief. Oh. Whatever. Whatever, man. Unbelievable. Got him out of there, huh? So is uh, Kim Yo Jong going to take over for her brother or what? Ooh, you think? I don't know. I'm asking you. I didn't know if you. I don't know. Oh. I don't know anything about it. Like I said, well, I you brought it up. I just meant. I oh. did. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. I just mentioned it. Like oh. some news. That well, I thought I... you knew about it. No, I guess nothing more than I knew the other day. Oh. Yeah. All right. Someone called Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Yeah. He He's knows. a fuck. Yeah, he knows he everything. He does. He'll know the inside scoop for sure. Fucking A. All right. Yeah, so what? Dude, today's Sunday. Yeah, Man, it is. It times is. Times are floating in, so today is our uh, our day of... Um, I got one for y'all to listen All to. All right. Day of reckoning. It is a day of reckoning, let me tell you. Fucking A. I don't know what happened to my stuff out here. It just went... All right, man, this is a rarity, and it's, like, super raw. Raw uh, rarity. Another rarity, the Sonic Gardens. This is I a, had a couple of them once. This is a uh, Sonic, Raw rarities. This is a Sonic Gardens jam. Uh, who's this? This is still Theo playing. No, right no, who's, who are you playing? Who are you going right, to play? All right, so who I'm going to play is this is actually a Chris uh, original. Oh. I'd call it, you know, original jam, and he's got a guy sitting in on... Uh, the saxophone. Ooh. Oh, oh um, boy! And we got it over top, over, uh, overdubbed with some. Uh, is this the cruise guy? This you've heard it before. Oh. Um. No, the it. guy though on the saxophone. Is he the cruise? Cruise ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You remember Cru- Dan? Fuck, That's right. Hey, I remember. Yeah. So Dan. What the fuck? We what? <laughs> Dan might be out there listening. Uh. And, Thanks for the video. Yeah, man. So you remember this track? It was something that I kind of lost on a computer, and then all of a sudden oh. it turned up. So. Cool. I uh, I'm uh, prepared to uh, play it here, but anyway, I added uh, a Ramdas lecture over oh, top of it. Boy. <laughs> oh boy! Oh <laughs> boy! Fucking a! Here so, we go. Uh, enjoy. This is a nice little lecture about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I heard this. This is a good one of his lectures about uh, you know some of the uh, I could sp- uh, drugs. S- spare our, me with the lectures. But... Our vision. Well, you can call it a lecture, or just a little talk where right. he basically describes. Uh, removing the moral value like oh, removing yeah. morals from the equation of drug use like oh. why does it have to be about good or bad or um you know good people do this and bad people do this it's the same old uh, just take the morals out and, of everything uh, obviously <laughs> this guy man he had he had some great lectures you can listen to this stuff all day long um but you know over top of some uh some music jam just music just it's always just uh, extra refreshing cool. I uh I w- I first uh, had you know that it was done with um Muji and reggae music so there would be these like Muji reggae and you just sit there and listen to these cool uh reggae jams with Muji saying uh super cool wisdom stuff over top. So um I'm going to kick right into that here. This one is uh the Sonic Gardens band is what oh, we call this one, yeah. which is basically just Chris and uh, <laughs> and Dan. But uh, you know, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Have Talk a listen, ya, yeah. Mang and Neat Show. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic Gardens, Gardens Radio. Radio.
appetizers or um, coffee or liquor or coke or crack or heroin or whatever, or just the addictions of the society, whether it be power or sex or whatever,、um, acquisition. They're very intense because the fear is great, and when you get frightened, you get very addicted. And、um, the addictions we're seeing, like with crack, are inner city because of the lack of opportunity. The coke among the middle class is because, as I said before, the fantasies aren't fulfilling. So they're all symptoms of problems. We're responding to the symptoms with a kind of overkill of categorizing all chemicals together, except the ones of cultural choice, like alcohol, is bad,、um, and saying say no to drugs. But there are a category of chemicals called、uh, tryptamines, psychedelics, so on, that are.、Uh, Very, very promising in terms of their use in a culture, to for therapeutic purposes, to help people break out of the sets that they're trapped in with their minds, to open relationships up again, like marriages that get stuck, to work with prisoners who have a terrible recidivism rate statistic, to help people die, to help people with pain, etc. All that research in those areas has been stopped because of this sort of just blanket, pervasive paranoia about drugs, and it's very unfortunate. And、um, I spoke at a conference recently in which there is a great attempt to legitimize research with MDMA or ecstasy or atom to see it in working in relationship therapy. That's going on in Switzerland. It probably is going on in Germany, and we hope it'll go on in Czechoslovakia and some of the countries that don't have the same panic that we have at this moment that we're importing as our drug war.、Uh, I think each of us can get educated, can be calm about it, can do what you have to do, knowing the conditions you exist in. This is not quite the climate at this moment. For drug research,、um, but many people do it anyway, and you do it knowing that part of the setting is paranoia, and that's a delicate situation. It's not optimal conditions for that kind of inner work. We've learned over the years that no method is necessary, so that if if those kinds of drugs are not available for altering behavior, we certainly know that there are other ways of doing it. We've just got to do is extricate ourselves from the value judgments about it, and not make them into ethical issues, but realize that drug use. A lot of people use drugs to escape. Others use it to explore. Others use it to get more. And the the attachment to excess is what the problem is in the society.
Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that Sunday lecture from <laughs> the great Ram Dass? <laughs> I would like to talk oh. with I'd like to talk with you about that, Josh. Like you, I'd like to talk with you about those words. I know you heard everything he said out there. It was interesting, wasn't it? Uh, I'm, you know me. I'm not big on talking about that shit. About talking about stuff. Well, I just, I mean, okay, I well, don't care to talk. I mean, okay. I, well, let me let me say. I what, guess he. Uh, what I would say is though, I guess he's like a promoter of it. I guess that's his deal. Um, well, that was self awareness and all that shit, right? That was from uh, that ta- that lecture was uh, from the eighties. Probably. Oh. Uh, so that was like the height of the drug war. And he was just kind of trying to explain that it wasn't all about uh, just say no to drugs and, you know, good, bad and all those things. Kind of some of the things. Not that he was a I mean, you I wouldn't call him. A, he was a promoter of uh, of self-help. Self-awareness? No, of, of self-awareness. Right. So what made me think of you was that you mentioned that you do the... um. You know, you, there's certain foods you don't eat, you right. know, and, and and there's things that you give up yeah. um, from time to time. And you you'll say to me, it's it's a good thing to do that. I like to do that to prepare myself. So his whole like the whole religion behind like what, you know, he would study is kind of uh, giving things up. And it's about, you know, um, I, I'm not I'm not going to like put the words into the, you know, his brilliant mind, whatever. But. To me, it's like, uh, you know, uh, letting all that, uh, let, letting a lot of things go, including like certain feelings or um, uh, the way that, you know, maybe people try to, uh, you know, push their feelings on other people and stuff like that. So, you know, it's about uh, his biggest message was to be here now. And that was to remain in be the moment. Here you now. don't. You know, you don't, uh, you're not looking to the future for, you know, worrying about the future or right. uh, feeling guilty about the past. And it's really about the moment. And right now, this is the moment we're in. And then there's other, uh, there's other desires of certain people, but not everybody. Like in the end, what he said was, um, you know, like, like, so we're talking about standing here and standing there. And somebody brought up, you know, uh, then you get hooked on that and you start, that becomes your life is now, now it's like drugs are your religion and you just talk about that, but it's more of a path is what, is what it is. So it's like, he's, he's saying that, um, the hopes and the intentions is at the end, in the end, you can, uh, you know, get, get over that trap as well that, that got you there, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, like, like, like something like that. And him himself, he, he stopped doing that, you know, years. I mean, he just died. Like, uh, you know, well, I think we announced it. Oh like yeah. It was right. Uh, before or right during, I'm not sure, but, um, you know, just a cool, uh, again, that goes back to that Duncan Trussell. That's how I originally like found Duncan out about him. Dessel. And then I remember it was funny cause I'm talking to Chris about the podcast I listened to in this Ram Dass. And then Chris was like, yeah, man, that's like, um, he goes, that's that book that I have, you know, be here now. He goes, that's like the hippie Bible that I oh. bought when I was young. So it's like all of a sudden it kind of looped right back around to, uh, you know, a certain Eastern, uh, influence, something that was, you know, Oh yes. cool, cool, man, cool, man, cool, cool, man, shoe. Well, shit. Um, um, bada bum bum. Uh, yeah. So here we are. Yeah, man, Derek, we get you in the studio sometime, man. I don't know where uh, you're coming from or where you live, but he lives in town. Yo, you live right here in town, huh? In the big town of Narge. Oh, cool. Narge. Sweet. So yeah. C N Y. Um. Yeah, yeah, man. So that that right there is just uh, that's just one a cool little jam that you know I had this instrumental that I liked and it, they were they were pretty rare. There were only like a few of those recordings, so, right? You know, my own little things. And that was uh, that was back in 2016. That was so a great year. Time flies, man. Such a good year. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What 
What else? What else? Sunday. Oh. We got any other Sunday? Beautiful Sunday music. Beautiful. Religious. Um, Calm. What am I? I'm I'm listening oh, yeah. to something right now. Are you? You are listening to someone squealing. To. No. <laughs> I'm not even gonna turn it up. Uh, okay, right. here we go. So what do we got? Uh, I got a song for you. All right. Did you write it? Why don't you play something? No, mom. No, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, mom. No, mom. Uh, no, no, fuck. man. Uh, Jesus. Yep. Did I write it? I don't I'm know. Play a song here, dude. We're gonna. Hey, man. We're uh, keeping this uh, Sunday jam going. I know so you've written a couple. I'm gonna play a nice, uh, a nice little uh, couple right in. We can talk through the intro though. Oh. Actually, listen, listen to let's Theo. Talk through the what? L- let's uh, listen to Theo explain how he does his looping because this was kind of a cool part of his show was that he oh. added this. So uh, was, he did a little here we talk, go. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Cosmic Theo performing Aloha live at Sonic Gardens. Right again, I think studio. a beautiful uh, Sunday uh, uh, story for y'all. Such a beautiful day. All right, here we go. Let's hear it. They're so patient. That really turns me on. My thoughts is, well, first of all, I'll just tell you a little thing about my process here is I'm not bringing anything preloaded. I got tones in this thing. Everything else is live. So I'm kind of doing a DJ's job and making it up on the spot. So that's why it's got to be perfect. With all 
of the black pigs over the heads of the dead and dying. Yeah. The more you understand about the human race, the less I comprehend about our purpose and place. Maybe if there was a clearer line, then curiosity would satisfy. Time made prophecies that kept me from living. In the moment I'm struggling, I trust the divinity of all the God. And what the fuck they got planned? If you wish to survive, you will find the God inside. Aloha, aloha, keakua, keakua. Aloha, aloha, kuleana, kuleana. Choppy ways, the seasons, the places, and the people change, but the galaxies remain. Energy fields come a body to space. The angels are a cup of tennis field to wage. The hatred takes a mass field to pace. Then fold the mind when the planets are in place and polar alignment. We're on assignment. The body's on consignment. We turn them to the circuit.
bodies of people. Woman touch me a gold, I am a miracle. Made up the body gold in the sixties. I stay persistent, and I make a difference. Cause I will have lived it alone. No, I can't grow up. Can't grow up. Thanks, everybody. Uh, hope welcome. you're enjoying the show today. It's the Manganeed Show live on Sonic Gardens Radio. It is. And, uh, you know, this is our 42nd day straight doing this deal. Yeah, man. It is Sunday, April, April 26, 1992. Tell me, where were you? Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is a, uh, man, uh, we don't have that version, but we definitely could play a Sublime song in... Uh, in French, you know, oh, <laughs> in, uh, memory of uh, that that uh, tune, for particular sure. number. Yeah, that was a good one, man. Well, we're back. We're back at the desk here, visually, and Uwa is there. I've made with my all appearance. We got, a, we got a beautiful, uh, you know, for people tuning in. We always get a uh, Ryan Warner calls in, makes for a, uh, you know, a good um, keep the shit show keep going. The shit, keep our shit show going. Oh, and yeah. uh and uh on the corner lower corner there you can see a uh copy of uh one of Jimmy little Jimmy's prints of a Ryan Warner uh painting of the great Jerry Garcia. Oh yeah. And um yeah those are available through little Jimmy's. He's a regular old Picasso. Old Warner is up here. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at it. That's he's a not close a Picasso, up. he's a Warner. He's something. You know? Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting. You're waiting. You got some uh, artillery for him today? Uh, Are we going to be waiting and ready for him? Uh, I don't have anything. Well, I always got something for him. Yeah. He's always, he's always doing something clever. Yeah. Clever, clever. Oh, you know, one of the ones that I did like was that uh, I like, uh, I didn't, I don't know if I liked it, but I think oh. that, uh, well, tell I think, me about uh, it. I think McConnell there picked a fight. Mitch? Old Mitchie, he picked oh, a fight with old, that little fucking peckered billy goat. He picked a fight with Cuomo, man, and Cuomo kind of let him know what was up. Yeah, Cuomo said, I'll punch, I'll dick fucking kick you. He had to Fuck remind you. him that, you know, uh, New York is kind of represents uh, America in right. a pretty big way. He fucking put Mitch in a spot. We got like, trade we, Mitch out. He said about surplus. He gives to the government, and Mitch takes from it. Right. And no offense to any of our uh, Kentucky friends, our family, out my there, cousin. Kentuck. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> out there in Kentuck. Which actually, it's funny though, because my cousin he lives in Kentucky, but Lexington area, which oh. means he's from a city, and we're actually the people from the country, right? Know, in New York, right? Because we are country. We are out here. In we're con- in the country. In the country. We're in Chobani country. We. <laughs> they came to us. It was craft country <clears throat> first over there. Yeah, and uh, Borden, Chobana. Borden, right here, was the Borden yeah. uh, Creamery. Oh. Right where we're sitting, this this spot yeah. right here, a cow was getting get, milked at right. one time for sure. For real, some Used sick a, farmer. A cow milking. Cow milking in here, right yeah. where I sat. <laughs> Just out here milking cows. The railroad track was right to my right out here. Oh yeah, for sure. That's what that path is. You like that? Click, click. Click, click, like the horsey's coming. Here comes yeah. John Lane. 
She wore a yellow ribbon. Um. Yeah, right out here where that path is, where the fence used to be, and then you guys take it, took it down. Yeah, yeah. That big thing right there. The, that was yeah, it runs all the way. Yeah, across. boom, out the goddamn right through the motherfucker. They used Yo, to drop off. Yo, it's crazy because if you if it you look crazy. at where that train track was and yeah. where my um, you know where my dad, your uncle, your grandma, where my, where my uncle lives. Yeah, and my father, you know, they were they all, were right there. Yeah, like literally, like that train went by and it must have rattled the house every oh, time. Oh fuck yeah, it would have rattled the house you your parents live in. Right. With the train, seriously, with the yeah, train yeah, right yeah. there. Oh man. So, uh, dude, it, it must just... have been great back then. Think about it. How many people used to ride on trains and shit, pulling the town? It was hopping. Oh yeah. It was fucking going off down here. Yep. Good old where was that? That's where it we was had at. one of those turnarounds, didn't we? Yeah, we had the roundhouse down there where the high school is. Yeah. Fuck yeah. They had a coal yard down by there, too. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, the roundhouse? Yeah. Oh, man. it would have. Imagine being around that like in the 50s or 40s here, and you go down there and watch that, man, you're a little kid, and you're into that shit right in your town. That would have been amazing. But... Now I can see some redneck put a car in the back of his pickup and tow it down the road. So I guess I'm in amazement here still. Yeah. Well, you know what? Tell let me. me. Uh, let me play a. Uh, oh, you got another, another song? song? I mean, I figure it's Sunday, so we it might is. as well just play some music, keep this thing going. Oh yeah, a little um, Sublime. You said something about I some, said I, a I think Sublime I, cover. I think I can get a cover, a shock, oh. version of a Sublime tune. Might be a nice uh, thing to order up here today yeah everybody likes um, a little sublime unless they don't then fuck them i like it I like it a lot um i'm trying to see what we got here oh i'm trying to remember yeah right he's got a I plethora just, of tunes in there didn't we just do uh yeah you did actually drop a sublime one i thought we did oh i don't know man no maybe not i know you did one though well, we got, like, I, I have it. the uh, Scarlet Begonias. Oh. Should we do that one? Yeah, I heard it before. Let's do that one. It's just an audio. We'll just hit everything But you know what? Once. Audio is good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Shaka. Have a listen. This is a Shaka rehearsal of uh, the Sublime version of... So it's a cover of the of Sublime the, version a, of the cover <laughs> of, of the Scarlet Grateful Begonias, Dead. The Grateful Dead. Um, oh man! But hey, man, we kill it. All right, uh, like ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, it. this is uh, Shaka performing. Where was it? Here in this Scarlet place? Begonias, right here, right here, <laughs> where, right, uh, right behind me, right behind where you're, right sitting. behind the light, where the lights are. Or, yeah, I got it. Like, um, it's almost like that could be. Yeah, our stage. If right. we had oh, it could. Yellow be. laser lights. Yeah, we got some. <laughs> We plug. do have lights. All right, ladies do. and gentlemen, Scarlet Begonias. We'll get JB to Live. unplug them, plug them back in. Live. Sonic Guard. This was a live recording. Make right. each show. Enjoy, please. Oh, Started begonias stuck into her curls. I 
knew right away she was not like other girls. Not other girls.
was a good one. Yeah, man. That was a uh, shaka. You know, that was 11 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it was. 11 minutes. Hell of a trance we put the ooh in. I always yeah. like bringing him back in. <laughs> that was a great song. It was, right? Yeah. Shit, man. I don't know, you know. You guys did a good job of that. Sublime did a he did a good job writing those lyrics too, adding yeah, some yeah. lyrics. Yeah, yeah, adding those lyrics to it. Oh, I really you know, like um, that band Sublime. One thing though, you know what's funny is the way Sublime did it. They left out like I think two full verses of the Grateful Dead song. Yeah, they including had to do the it. most classic line which was the uh you know, sky was yellow and the sun was blue. Right. He was right. Yeah, man. So uh They left it right out of there, huh? Yeah, you know. That was like kind of the line. He said, Fuck yeah. I don't want to put it in there, he said. He didn't have time for that shit. Well Tell me about it. If we put all those verses in, that song would have been like twenty minutes long. Right. Huh. Yeah. So I sent a message out to the Shaka boys. Today is our uh, typical really? uh, practice day. So, um, what'd you, you tell know, them? I just asked if anybody wanted to call in. Oh. We were playing, you know, and seeing if I got any response. Nate's busy with a birthday. He's got a sister who has a birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. I'm not sure which sister, though. I don't I probably should have asked. I don't know either. <clears throat> Nate has a lot of sisters. Yeah. Just a couple. So uh, I was just telling you that I didn't like fully tell you because we didn't talk about it. But, oh, yeah. um, you know, I'm always looking for uh, different video cameras for the uh, for the place. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I'm on like Marketplace back when that was like something that I did. Now it's like something that I don't really do because I don't want to go see people and get stuff. And uh, I saw <laughs> a camera on there. And at the time, you know, I inquired and it didn't appear to have any. Uh, audio video output which right. was required so i just told the dude you know so, i yeah. didn't uh i didn't need it thanks and then uh he actually contacted me you know in a rough needed some loot must be and, Show me the uh, loot. give me the loot and he just said hey man 35 bucks i'll sell you this thing and then when i researched it a little bit more i definitely can incorporate it with what we're doing here and, and it's uh pretty yeah. badass so yeah, man, I just got a uh, PowerShot S3 for thirty-five bucks. Jesus, I'll consider that a, a fucking deal of the week right there. You know that? It might be. I, I still got to get a power cord. Oh and, yeah, I uh, mean, if it works, and the audio video adapter cable. If it works, it's but the it, deal I mean, of the. I'm, I'm pretty sure it works. Well, then know. there you have it. I guess I didn't really get a chance to try. We'll find oh. out. We will find out it's for gonna sure. It's going to be a find out day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. If not, I guess I'm out 35 bucks. Joke's uh, on me. Yeah. We'll yeah, man. We'll find the motherfucker. So, no. you know, <laughs> here we are. Mangan Need Show, day 42, this Sunday. This is what's going on. Sunday. Three, what's the date? April 26th. It is 5 o'clock. Eastern Central Time. Nothing like or a Eastern, good... Eastern uh, Standard Time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Did you see they did, like, a little, uh... What, Spike Jones? Did you see that? Um... He did a little Beastie Boys, uh... Yeah, what's up with that? You saw it? No. Nope. Nope. Did you not just, see uh, it. I did see a, uh... That, that something was happening. Whether yeah. it was out... Or whether it was coming out. I think but they yeah, did it for like Apple or something. Or it's like on that. Now all these people got money and they they do these things. And then you got to subscribe to their. Right. And man. Fuck it. Then I just don't watch it. Yeah. Well, you'll watch it eventually. Yeah. I'm sure. Like when eventually. I get so bored. No, I don't get bored. But yeah, I never. You don't get bored? Nah. No sense. You're always keeping busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Try to do that. Me too, man. You I'm think, always keeping busy. You think the... Sometimes uh, it's kind of annoying because it's like... Yeah. All of a sudden you look at something that's got to be done and you're like, you don't want to do it. Right. But then you're like, oh, I guess that's the priority right now. It's part of life, In the man. moment. Yeah. It's the part you don't want to do. The part you don't want to do. 
Oh, you think the old uh, animal doctor's out on a nature walk in the rain today? I doubt it. Oh, fucking nature boy. He's trying to sneak away. He's like, oh, I gotta, uh, I really gotta, I gotta use the bathroom, hon. Yeah. And then he's like in there. He's getting ready to call us right now. Yeah, he's got his headset on, like Justin Timberlake and them. <laughs> I told him though, he's got to get that. Not like I, I was, li- I heard and not. It sounded like I was yelling at him, but I wasn't really yelling at him. I was just you saying, tell him whatever. I was just saying that that's that's a that's a smart move. Is Speak to, do to the, him uh, however you want to. Is to do the um, <laughs> is to do that Bluetooth, and he's really got to set up even just for like, just get himself in a corner against a you know a yeah. wall. Come on, man, you know you got cool shit all over your house. He's fucking yeah. hang something behind you. Just fucking do hang it one up, of them man. dudes you got. Off the wall. Yeah. Fucking A. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for everybody tuning in. Everybody that's uh, new subscribers. Uh, anybody, tell your friends, share. We got some shares. We got some comments. You know, I, I put out a post, uh, you know, and just kind of like for anybody that hasn't listened to the show, they don't really know what it is. But then people that have. You know, they kind of they they've uh, heard what we're about and what we're doing as we're like 42 days in. This is what our show is, man. We just uh, banter about Hot whatever garbage. We no. play music <laughs> that we've recorded here. We play videos that have been, uh, you know, posted things that are already on our our YouTube channel that you can look up and uh, go to different playlists. You can see different bands of things in the past, um, you know, and and. Uh, there's been a thing of like anything of lower quality that I should like pull it all off and like, but for me, I think it's cool to see the evolution and the history and oh, yeah. uh, everything that took place. So, hey man, go to any of those videos and click on them, see what's going on. If you like that Cosmic Theo stuff from the Aloha, um, there's a whole, that was one of, um, when I recorded him, uh, he had a really... Uh, because he was he was a one man band with his whole thing his whole mixing board he was able to just give me two channels and you know left and right and it made the recording super easy for my like you know uh, novice uh, uh, working on it you know and oh, yeah. and then so it allowed me to kind of focus up more on uh, the video end of it and although it it isn't a uh, you know there's there's some uh, lag and different things that i didn't know about settings or whatever but overall it's a really cool show of cosmic theo it's like an hour long and it's all uh you know everything he performed all those live looping um on the spot and uh you know just really cool so check it out give that give him uh, some uh give him some love on that on the video and uh you know check out what we got we're up to like 150 videos um you know, just the Mang and Needs show here, really. We have, uh, Josh, we have like 90. We do a lot, Angel. 90, 100 hours of us uh, rambling, playing music from oh, over God. the last few years. So um, it would take a lot to catch up on all the bullshit we've been speaking for as long as uh, we can remember. But, uh, but yeah, man, we, we just started going live regular, daily. Nothing uh, like it. 42 days in, um, I was thinking, man, how high are we going to reach this before one of us says, can't make it, before both of us. I, I was thinking, if I can't make it, what are you going to do? So it pretty much comes down to me, right. or I got to show you the backup, or, uh, you know, something. Oh, 42 yeah. days, man. 42 of them. Um, but happy to be here doing it. It's something me that uh, I'm interested, you know, I, I love, and uh I got a pretty good catalog of music that we've already recorded, although, um, you know, I've learned so much even in sense that, you know, there's a lot of work I'd like to do with them, but that's, uh, he's got to go back. That's more hunkering down and, uh, and you know, Hey, one step at a time. Um, you know, as well as that, that, uh, Scarlet Begonia's version uh that's not available on youtube i just have that in my audio storage but uh as far as you there's a there's a whole shaka playlist uh of a whole live show that we did on march 15th the day before we started this so 43 days ago that was our last uh performance and 
Uh, it's pretty sweet though. We got we got um, some great songs in there. In fact, I'll probably play another one of those off there um, in just a moment. Um, yeah. All right. Sunday. Seems like a good idea. Ah! Let's do it. Let's kick to it. What song is this? Um, so uh, that's playing in your ear? No, that you're gonna play for. Oh, no, you got nothing in your ear. There is a little bit uh, in your ear. That's that way to sound. Give you a little click on that for a second. Yeah. And uh, as I like pull it. up what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Um, I was just getting up a uh, an episode here, or a, a song. <laughs> a song to play, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do. I do know. <clears throat> Dude, I'm going to play... Uh, I'm gonna play no tomorrow. I don't think we've played that in a, a few days. Right? Like yeah, I said, haven't heard that. All, and these are all new releases, man. So this is uh, the newest stuff I got. I yeah. like bringing out some new things, but um, you know, even these mixes. Oh, we do have an incoming call. Oh, nothing but the best for Warner. us. Warner. Nothing but the best. All right, I'm gonna give this a try on the uh, the Warner hotline. Hotline. It's like a warm. I'll call you right back. It's like a warm hotline. A warm one. Nothing like a warm hotline. La 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 la. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's have a look at it. I'm just hoping that this comes through. I tried. Peckerwood. Hey. Hey. Did I make it in time? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I boy, go. oh, boy. I got to hear Josh. Yep. You uh, gonna... Tell me. Tell me. No, no, go ahead. Tell me. What What were you cooking up there in Oxford? Uh, <clears throat> Stacy's making everything she can make with wild ramps. Oh. Like potato leek soup, that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, Sounds like a good night. Yep, but I've been listening. I've been listening the whole time, except I've been waiting. Nate from Peterson's, the owner of Peterson's, brought me a care package. Really? Oh, yeah? Yeah, dude. I couldn't believe it. And they're 45 minutes away. But he uh, hooked me up, man. And I was waiting for him before I called you guys. And uh, so he just uh, he just dropped it off. And he's, uh, you know, he's cool about the whole quarantine thing, man. He came in gloves and a mask just into the garage. Right. And, uh, but, you know, he wouldn't even, you know, I was afraid he'd want to talk because it had been a while. You know how it is with people. You see him, you're kind of like, um. But he made it short and sweet and just dropped off a, uh, just a bunch of stuff, tacos for tonight, and then a bunch of other things, tacos. grocery type things, man. Real cool. Yeah. And uh, But, yeah, I heard you guys busting my balls, and I was like, man, I'm gonna, I want to call in before it's too late. Yeah, we were uh... – <laughs> We were we were we were uh, seeing seeing what kind of response we were gonna get. Yeah, that's good, man. That's What'd good. You think but you, I so, gotta tell you, what do you gotta uh, tell us? Well, I just feel bad that you're stuck in there with Josh moping around when you're playing. I'm in my own that room, man. Sweet fucking music. That the one where you put the uh, where you dubbed the the lecture. Oh Boy, yeah. Chris and the, oh dude. man. I, would, I felt so bad that Josh had listened to that because I was like, Ange, I've been here before, man. Like, literally, it's not falling on deaf ears. It's just falling on ears that wish they couldn't hear. Okay, you know, I just, yeah, I need And I just it. feel bad for you. I really wanted you then because I knew I could bounce some stuff off a little bit better, but we can talk about this together. Yeah, let's talk about this shit again. Okay, so, so, um. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Go, go, elect, go lecture me. Fucking A. Let me hear it. Um, no, what I mentioned was, is that Josh is closer to that than he realizes. He just doesn't talk about it, which he, makes yeah, him, he's not it. he won't, so, he won't have someone quoting him or misquoting him or even having a, right. Like, so he's not talking about these things. He's actually, but he does live that life of the be right. here now. He's in the moment. He is, right. he, uh, he, he, um, resists, uh, certain urges to indulge in things like, fried chicken or french fries and you hear that little t undertones when i mention it oh i made this and i made some uh you know fried this and he goes ah yeah. you know he, he, ah, he eating someone's face again <laughs> eating something with a face huh how those face bodies meat bodies 
what he's tasting. But he's not like a vegetarian. Yeah. It's like, I don't, you know, like, you know, that whole thing, too, where he makes you feel um, inadequate in that sense. But he still does in the sense of. Yeah, uh, isn't that weird? He won't. He'll make you feel inadequate in every other aspect of your life. But he won't do it with food because he doesn't want to be linked to a vegan, you know, that does that all the time. You right. know, the whole, how do you know someone's vegan? You know, because yeah, it's yeah. the first thing they say to you. That's why I did the chicken. So he wants to bust balls so bad, but he won't do it because he's like, no, vegans already do that, man. I don't, yeah. I don't go there. So, so, what, <laughs> so what I was trying to explain to him is it wasn't about, like, vegetarian-like. It was about, like, the way he lives and the way that he understands that that you can't just overindulge. You can't just go the extreme on something and everything. So he cuts things out of his life just to do it, not because he doesn't like them and not because he's not going to go back and maybe do something again that he had, right. you know, but it, you know, I'm not drinking soda, whatever the case is. And that is like, a, um, you know, a bit of a, you know, self, uh, improvement, uh, in its own way. He just doesn't. Yeah, well, it's funny. Cause you know, Josh doesn't do, it. Josh doesn't do drugs, right? right? And on lot, he looks like someone that does drugs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets all these fucking people. They well, know, we like, all... Oh man, I was doing, you know, whatever, blasting off DMT, whatever. You know what I mean? Talking to me and Josh, you know, and he's like, your buddy knows what I mean. And I was like, dude, I do more drugs than him and I don't even do drugs. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. None of like, not we're none of us are, uh, we all kind of like fit that uh, image without doing it. It's interesting because yeah. you never know what, what people think of you or what they think you're into, you know? And it's right. actually would be funny if you did like a random survey of your, like all your friends, like, what do you think this person, do you think this person does that or this, you know? Oh Who no knows? shit. See, that's what I mean. That's why Josh is, his wardrobe is, is physical camouflage, even though you can see it or it's mental camouflage. Yeah. You can't, you know, everything, <laughs> he should be slurring his speech by the way he looks. They're saying, they're saying <laughs> I love it. Once in a while. I love it. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but, he, but he don't. I don't. don't. This is, uh, we're going to change the show to uh, when Ryan calls in, it becomes the roast of Uwa. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, For those of you just tuning in now, we're about to, we're about to enter the, enter phase, the, the roast. roast of Uwa segment. <laughs> I just let him, I I usually get him a lot, so I don't, uh, he, he'll got, call in one of these days and I, I just like, he'll just listen. Um, because I'll have some, but I just let it, I just let it stew for a while, pile yeah, up. That's how he does it. <laughs> something wrong, Josh? No, why would something be wrong? No, man, yeah. you're just the coolest person yeah, ever, aren't you? You, why would you wrong are the me? coolest. So cool. Yeah, like <laughs> today. You brought <laughs> uh, But, Ange, man, that song was, was great. And, uh, you know, I added on to it. I liked it so much, but I had to use my iPad, so I switched over and listened to the podcast on my phone. Oh. And there was a delay between my phone and my iPad barely one second and 80 but it was enough to where you could clearly hear uh, what's the guy's name tone low uh ramdas oh. ramdas you could you could hear his Ram voice das. clearly and everything he said and then it echoed yeah that's awesome and so when i did that own, i was like i wrote it space. down i was like mention to Ange the echo yeah that's all i have written down but, um, well, you know what I because, wanted, uh, that's one of those things that I wanted, uh, I wanted to kind of another type of, uh, station was that, you know, I, I really love a, a lot of those, uh, Ramdas lectures and, yeah. and well, I wanted, sure. and I wanted to, uh, kind of run a, a, an episode or a show that we throw on there that would be, uh, literally just that dub style. So it'd be like, I'd be playing it and be able to add delays and, uh, increase and like, you know, different uh, effects. And just in to different it. little aspects, man. Yeah, because when be he says like... certain things, it made perfect sense. Like I went back, I was hoping the song would be long because I went back and did it again with my iPad and I turned the volume up and down on my phone. Oh, it was so fucking I was, long. I was given, it I was, was doing long. The own, my own like <laughs> reverb or my own delay with it. And it made it flow in and out, not of consciousness or whatever, but like it was just, it's more dreamlike or whatever. You almost start to get, 
Man, I don't know. It's, you it's, know it's, how it's to so build wild. up any story, and he's Warner. So clearly. Well, here here was the big line that, <laughs> that I wanted to say to you, though, Josh, is that the one guy was saying, like, oh, all these paths, and he was saying everything. Even the idea and the idea of enlightenment is is a trap that you get trapped in, and then all of a sudden you're stuck, and that's your whole life, just mm-hmm. talking about enlightenment. So my whole what I'm trying to say is that you are what he said in the end he goes there's a certain type of people that say you stand nowhere and you represent nothing you know other than whatever that you're just existing and and it's like okay that's great but can can you do that like you can but can i do that or can and so how he puts it there's other quicker ways to do you know get there for the lame and the uh, not so uh uh, you know, able, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You're like, you yeah. Know. I get it. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. That was yeah. A, it was good, man. It was good in the way, like just the way it was with the, you know, with Chris playing the music and, you know, the saxophone and everything like that. It was a good, it was a good mix, man. I couldn't, that's right when I tuned in. That was I like skimmed over the first like three or four minutes. Yeah. That was something a, about uh, a monkey or something. <clears> and I landed on that song. I was like, Oh, I'm not skimming over this. In the early days, like when I re- literally was like just setting the place up, uh, something like that was a total hijack. Like they they never they didn't even know I was recording. You know, they were just in there jamming, and I'm like, I'm gonna record this, and then right. uh, you know, that's kind of the way I did everything back then. I just hit record, and uh, you know, see what comes out of it. See, that's how Josh is normally. He expects that when he goes out, he's like, people are gonna be taking photographs of me. <laughs> they're yeah. gonna act like they're not but i know they are but i know they are i'm Fuck putting both ain't. of my sunglasses on today yeah one on top of the other i don't mess around josh i just found there's there oh did i fucking lose them again oh my uh oakley holbrooks yeah is that what you have yeah i get well not on right now but yeah i got a couple pair of them yeah, I just yeah. found mine. It's the uh, and this is how fast time. I always flies. liked those '80s kids that would wear them back in the day when I was too young well, for sunglasses. Yeah, they have the. And I said someday I'm gonna get myself a couple pair. Yeah, they have the reflective lenses. That um, these mine are orange and like. Yellow. Right, I got the purple and the red ones. Yeah, yeah I remember because it's uh, we had them out and I was like, dude, I've got those, but I fucking lost them. And I had them in like 2000, maybe like 13. Right. Um. Oh, when I first, when we first started going on tour uh, out there, we have a picture together. It keeps coming up every year. Really? With uh, oh, Abbott. Oh, wait, where? Oh, out at fucking uh, C-Mac. Well, yeah, with a Canada- gorge. They have a gorge out there. Canandaigua, right? Yep. Out there by the yeah. lake. Canandaigua. Um, I have mine in that photo, and it keeps coming up, and I always think, I'm like, God oh, damn, man. Oh, yeah, I got my little I hat on. You, got, you had short, short hair, man. In oh, that photo, yeah, yeah pretty short yeah. hair. Yeah, you weren't allowed to yeah. grow it out back then. Um, um, but so I found them, scratched the shit, but right. Um, I put yeah, them on. I think you still can get new lenses for them, and they're like forty bucks or thirty bucks. Right. Well, here's the part. This is oh. where it gets me. Is when I put them on, you broke. I realized I was like, oh man, you know, like it. They're not the same. Like I just looked like a old dude trying to look young. Oh. I'm not saying I look like you. Right. But. It, I was just like, oh, man, and I realized it was almost 10 fucking years ago, you know? And it's just it not not that they were out of style or they were ever in style. They were never But it's in like when style. I put them on, I was just like I looked like a version of myself 10 years ago. And it's, it's, it's weird how that keeps happening, man. I pulled a pair of jeans out of the attic, seven jeans, right? And they got ripped in the crotch or something where it was like an yeah. embarrassing rip, so I stopped wearing them, and I always told myself, oh, I'm – I don't want to throw them away or I don't want to give them away or whatever. I'm going to fix them. I'm going to sew them up. So I just bring them down and uh, my mom fixed them. So this is a while ago. Anyway, because they're she doesn't live here anymore. Um, they're down in Florida. Anyway, yeah. she sews them up. She's like, hey, I'm going to jeans. Like, oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. I put them on and they were so baggy. Oh, They looked like, like boot cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like blink when, not Blink-182 jeans. But they were just real 2005. Good Charlotte, yeah. Oh, man. And I was like, <laughs> what? And just looking down at my legs. And we weren't wearing skinny jeans by any means, but I don't know, man. It's just strange how, 
like you know you you, you stop uh you stop paying attention to something and you don't realize how uh, how old it gets but it's uh I wasn't really going anywhere with that story. Yeah, that was a great one, though, man. That was a real good one. I know what you mean, though, with, um, there was, uh, like, I I had a bunch of pants that, like, nice dress pants that I used to have to wear to work, uh, when I worked at Protel. Um, Yeah. Sounds fun. Man. Tell me. Tell me. Protel. But I left Protel in 2008. So there you go. That was. Said, fuck it. I'm starting my own business. No, so that was 12 years ago. And, um, you know, but I had all these pants that were kind of like, I was kind of like chubbing up a little bit. For you know, skinny after jeans. A few, but then all of a sudden I was slimming down and I'm like, oh, I'm going to grab these nice pants because they're sweet. And then, uh, you know, I threw them on and they fit, but the bottoms were like as big oh. as the shoe almost. Oh, yeah. Angela. And it was like, so in other words, in 2008, like that was still like, um, didn't I didn't feel like awkward walking around right. with like bell bottom pants, but now... I would. I don't know, man. Now he so, would see. So what he's feeling. saying, Josh, is if you really had balls, you'd start to wear those baggy pants again. I don't need to do that. My legs Bring are, out those Jankos, bro. I have a pair of shorts still, I think. Jankos. My son lives in freaking sweatpants, pretty much. Oh, well, that's. That is. Uh, that's your. Uh, that's your. Yeah, son. that's like the common theme of every fucking kid that I've. Uh, well, they don't have to go to school right now. School's no, even when he went to school, sweatpants he oh, forever, sweat, wears sweatpants. Oh, again, yeah, it's wild, around. man. I do a lot of work. Well, not a lot of work, but just you know, I paint the field and stuff like that for uh, football. I paint our logo. On yeah, the field it's such a great job out there with his yeah. little sprayers, just psst, spraying. Psst, psst. And uh, it's wild. I've I've had to sit back and watch the dynamic of these high schoolers. Because it just blew my mind, man. And the way it was with me is if we had... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. Here we, let's hear this one. Okay, here it is. The dynamic that has shifted. When I was in school, the dudes were not dressing up for the girls. But it's like, that's all you had to do is if you had... If you looked sharp, you know... This Girls is are, I don't know. It's just this is coming just, from one of the guys that looks sharp, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and, but you get, get that. Like Let's get that straight. They're, they're into they're into how you look because it makes them look better, right? Right. <sighs> and then all these dudes that are you know in their curved brim hats, chewing and spitting and being you know, all <laughs> tough guys. Yeah. You know, they're like, hey, you you fucking pussies look like a pussy, but dude, you know, it's like if just like rock stars, man, if they're wearing leotards and makeup. But they're surrounded by chicks, right? You know, like who's doing what wrong, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, so in history, I think that that's the defining factor is if 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 chicks hang out with you, whatever you're doing, you're not doing it wrong. So anyway, that's the uh, um, that's the way it was back in our day. So we were like, you know, dressing up for the girls, or you know, like we want our car to be clean so girls would want to take rides with us, and you know, take them to the movies and all that shit. Huh. Um, and the girls had their, you know, their pick of the litter. Like you pined, we pined after girls, kind of. And until we get into high school and you realize like when you're a senior, a freshman are just like, oh, an older dude. And then it's just not fair anymore. But uh, anyway, now it's completely different. Dudes wear sweatpants and, the, you know, sweatpants and sweatshirts. That's it. You know, they're nice. They're Under Armour and Nike dry fit oh, and all yeah. that shit. And they're tapered. Nice. They're not like lazy boy sweatpants. They're like athletic sweatpants. But nevertheless, sweatpants, sweatshirt. They don't look at the girls. They don't talk to the girls. They sit in the restaurants and they're on their phones. All of them at the table. Like when you go on a date, I don't know if they text each other, but there's not much talking. Oh. And girls. So you would not fare well. Well, no, I'm just saying that without the talking, I'm saying are the ones that are trying. They're dressing up, you know. They're taking the Miley Cyrus route. Oh, you know what I mean. They're as scandalous as can be because they're trying to get the dude's attention, and it's just not happening. You know what I mean? The guy's like, "Nah, I got Pornhub, dude. I got Pornhub and Minecraft, or not Minecraft, whatever the other wizard Mm. game they play, and they just have no interest. You know, it's it's." uh, but if they if they wanted to, the roles are reversed basically. To where to where now all a guy has to do is pay attention to a girl. She's like, oh my god, look, girls. One of these dudes looked up, you know, and it's just so not, you know. I, I was amazed just watching it, you know. It's, yeah. Uh, 
Sounds it's a amazing. different world out there. But yeah, they've been wearing <laughs> they've been wearing sweatpants forever. He's like, yeah, sounds amazing. <laughs> Oh, I can't hear him. Oh, you can't? Yeah. Oh, shit. You trying to take the legs out? No, no, I wasn't. Yeah, tell us more. <laughs> tell us more, Warner. Tell us more. No, it's good, man. Uh, good. Yeah, so wait, what this else? Good you have to, TV. What, what are you doing today on, on this Sunday, man? Going through, uh, I have a bunch of paintings that are like almost done, but not quite done, that have just been sitting around, so I'm doing touch-ups. So right now I'm making a... A like a CK five the fish lighting, uh like a painting of the concert lights. Oh yeah, the one that's in our background. Is that well, our no not no. that no but, but like oh that. oh oh I remember yeah yeah I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, similar. So this is this is just uh, you know I've done a bunch of them. So this one's just all blue. So it's all like blue and white lights. Right, you got all your and I'm uh, and I'm going through with uh, glow in the dark paint. Yeah. And painting over top of every light with balls with balls Ooh. Uh, so that way when you when you shut the lights off the real lights these lights actually shine right so it's a pretty cool uh it's a pretty cool thing it's a weird it process awesome. paint with glow-in-the-dark paint because you either have to paint in the dark with a flashlight or paint in the light and then wonder what happens i like painting it in the light so you can't really see because when it's all light when the whole room's lit you know you can't really tell where you're painting you have to kind of remember where you went, and uh, but then when you turn the light off, it's like a surprise. So I don't even know what it's going to look like, and it's daytime, so I couldn't get it dark enough to really get a good idea of it anyway. But uh, but yeah, I did the same thing. I was like, man, it's Sunday, Sonic Gardens, just playing playing a bunch of music, just letting it ride. So I figured I'd just you know, this is the equivalent of like doing house chores, like doing a little cleanup. Yeah, man. <clears throat> my uh tell us see, tell so us whoa any, oh, here we go now you got now Andrew's gonna hijack the show yeah. um oh, well fucking. just uh, some oh, advice boy. to any listeners i don't know how anybody uh experiences their uh youtube how they watch it you know a lot of times you watch a lot of youtube right me yeah 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 yeah, yeah i do um that's kind of my like go-to place where i kind of get stuff and you know i'm subscribed to uh a bunch of different Things that I like and whatever you get your scroll through. Well, it's and... good to like things you like. Yeah, it so really like things you like. It really. But is. anyway, like I have, uh, I I use a Bluetooth speaker because it's just easy and convenient. And you got your, you know, I can I can like I uh, have a TV in my living room that I don't really watch that much, but I can stream my phone, my YouTube on my phone right to the TV. Right. So like nice. we saw Gino was doing it that way at his house. In uh, the early days of the quarantine, sent us a photo. And then, uh, you know, like I said, Bluetooth or like ideally, man, is if you had it hooked up to an audio system, like a real, uh, you know, good sounding thing. But uh, right. Right. But Bluetooth is so convenient that it, it's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I'm just uh, whether you're here for the music or whether you're here for the banter, we just kind of like to mix it up. What are you here for? Walls. <laughs> oh, I just, I am the checks and balances, man. Oh. I just listen until it's like eventually, you know, your, your like response time and you start to yawn and start mm. to give Ange too much no, shit. And I, then it's like the we bat were, light. We were fucking it's, it's strolling shiny, like, along like today. Me. We he were doing me. good. We were just a, putting it down today. Well, sometimes I don't know if uh Josh doesn't want me to play music or if I'm going to put him to sleep if I play music and uh Right. Well, he and then do I start music, thinking man. that, you know, he's got to be the he's got to uh, you know, he's got to be a team player too, you know. Oh, Sunday is yeah. a good day to uh play Sunday. some music and rest from our uh day of rest. Um you Well, know. I'll tell you what. I'll 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 throw Josh a bone. Well, no, it won't work. No, it won't work because you can't play you you're playing the music you're playing because you recorded it right um, yeah. yeah but if you did put josh in charge of a playlist he would have fucking fun day or sunday fun day that's you know right I mean? like he has well you know he what has the hits he's uh he'll get the opportunity for sure so ryan we're gonna give you uh the choice man well actually i was uh we're gonna let you butt chug some Clorox, Warner. No, actually, I got th I got something all prepped. Uh, oh, oh, I love what do you it. think about hearing the song "No Tomorrow"? You want to listen to that song? Which uh, who's that? That's Shaka. That's a Shaka. No oh, Tomorrow. Oh, Shaka. How does, wait, how does it go? 
That's one that goes... Uh, no tomorrow. Even when it seems there's no <laughs> tomorrow, you can hold the ones you love. It's a good day. It's a good Sunday song for it's sure. A classic corner. I like it. You know this one, right? I imagine you've heard it before, but this is a, a good... Uh, this is from our um, March 15, 2020. You are listening to... The Manganeed Show Manganese. live on Sonic Gardens Radio. Radio. And that didn't work. Again. Oh, let's swing try. and a miss. Man, and you really sold it, too. Yeah. <laughs> like today, we were. You're good. listening to The Manganeed Show live on Sonic, Sonic Gardens, Gardens Radio. Radio. <laughs> oh, great. He we'll did catch it. You on the flippity he flop. did it. He messed it up again. Oh, Uncle Fucky. Like <laughs> we'll catch you on the flippity flop. All right. Later, Ryan. Take it easy, buddy. See you guys. Later, Jack. Later, bud. Shaka performing their original song written by Jesse Tressler, No Tomorrow. And man, that was uh that was awesome. That was fun. Boom. Today, today is it's our... uh 
it's still blasting. Oh, that's great. That's great for your ears. Thank you. There you go. That was burn one down. I oh, man. They're going to light it up and burn it down. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um, so, hey, phone line's open, 607-373-HEAT. Anybody wants to call in, anybody uh, just joining, we are uh, running our 42nd day straight in our central New York quarantine. Daily updates, banter, music from our studio recorded live at Sonic Gardens and uh, some other old classic music uh, from that I have uh, restored from uh, the basement, you would call it. Reel to reels. Reel to basement. Um, but mostly everything we play was recorded here at Sonic Gardens. Radio. That's right. Um, yeah, we just had a call in from our good our friend Ryan friend. Warner. The great knowledgeable holding animal it down. doctor. Holding it down. That's what he does. Yeah. Um, what else? What else, man? There was you I tell me. Like what, there was something else that you I wanted tell me to bring what, up. What's been bugging you? You got anything else that you need no, to nothing. talk to? You need me to psychoanalyze something or? No, I guess All not. Right. Not today. I don't know. Oh. Would you like to? We could uh, talk about. What do you want to talk about? I can't. I can nothing. Nothing popped into my mind. Just All now. right. Yeah. Sounds good. Um. Yeah, so uh, here we are. You know what? I saw that we were almost at um, three. Such a great day. Million coronavirus cases. Worldwide. Really? We're at 2,982,590. That was actually when we started the show. Oh. We're going to reboost that now, and it's actually at 2,988,000. Oh. And sixty-four thousand cases. Jesus. Um, it's quite a bit. There's been uh, two hundred and six thousand worldwide deaths, and eight hundred and seventy-six thousand four hundred eighty-eight people have recovered. Uh, there's currently just under two million people infected, with a three percent of them are in critical or serious condition. Of the closed cases worldwide, we are at 19% death and 81% recovered or discharged. Um, and from what I understand, too, recovering and discharged does not necessarily mean that your life is back to good. In fact, you are, uh, and a lot of times, uh, people are still um, going to suffer for the rest of their lives from right. the effects of this. Um And then, uh, so in addition, the United States is at 984,183 cases uh, total. And there's been another 23,532 today. I wanted to say that uh, yesterday when I looked, I was blown away that there was another 35,000 cases in the U.S. and 90,000 cases worldwide which represents that this is not changed, like these numbers have not declined in um, all of these days. We watched them climb in like the first two weeks and everything has just been like steady for, you know, 30 days it seems, you know, pretty steady, 20, 22 days. Right. And no decline whatsoever. And in fact, yesterday showing an increase um, in actual daily cases huh. yeah so I thought that was kind of uh, something to bring up just to keep Wild, everybody right? updated on what's going on with that um, yeah some wild shit going on um, and as far as uh, the US 55,354 deaths, 118,735 people recovered. That's a uh, 32% uh, mortality rate. Um, which again, because we because so many people are infected, it's such a ridiculous kind of number. But you got to figure if somebody is getting on this list, it's because they needed to be tested, you know, 
for you figure those are the people that are getting priority as far as random testing. I don't know how much of that is going on. Right. But um yeah. Um I'm gonna pull this in here. What do you got? I just want to pull this in so you can they could see what I'm uh what you're what peeking serving, at? What I'm peeking at here. Take a look at this motherfucker. Yeah. So as I get to that graph again with the daily cases, which I think is, yeah, yesterday, or uh, so, what is this, the 25th, today's the 26th. Oh. So yesterday was 35,000 cases. The day before was 38,958 new cases. All right? And right. And that was the biggest day. So all of a sudden we just had a jump. And then yesterday it went down a little bit. Today it'll probably go down, but are we going to jump into another level of a 40,000 a day cases and then a 50,000 a day? You know, the same way the world has been increasing. And obviously there's a lot of um, of uh, land to spread to. Right. Know? So slow the curve. That was the whole intention. It never said that it didn't mean that 70% of the people are going to get infected. Right. You know? Infection. I mean, the only way to, to reduce it to nobody getting affected was to literally let the thing die by nobody interacting with anybody, anybody. else. You know, but so not in America. They don't do that in America. Full out lockdown. Can't do that in um, America, though. So, uh, People will protest. April 21st had uh, 2,683 deaths in the United States. Um, I haven't started putting sunlight on it yet. And yesterday... UV was rays. 2,000 still. So again, just like the other, the death rate has been above 2,000 consistently since April 7th. And the case rate has been consistently at 30,000 since April 2nd. So that's a five-day difference where the deaths increased. So that means until this number drops, I just see those deaths continuing like they are five, at least five days after um, you know, the cases drop. And that's going to be the, the true uh, thing. So, yeah, like I said, are we just going to keep climbing? Are we going to jump up to another level? Is there gonna is it going to get to 50,000 cases a day? And I think if it, you know, maybe when it opens up, we are going to see that. Maybe that is the intention of the government is to get everybody oh, infected. You know, maybe. they just, they just want to get through it so that we can get on with life. And if the you know, the quicker. So that's maybe, I don't know, man, wish washy and the whole thing. Of we don't know how we're supposed to Wishy treat washy. it. Wishy washy. Bullshit. Bullshit. You know Bullshit. So uh, anybody just tuning in, you're listening to the Mang and Neat show on Sonic Gardens Radio, where we uh, give you daily updates. Can we play that billions um, and billions? I got, I got it right here. You my, got it. Email it to me. I got it right here. Oh, you want oh, to play? Oh, the oh, if you don't need to see it, then yeah, nah, just you play don't need it. to see it. Play it. Let me give you some uh, audio. It's only a, it's that it's what Warner was talking about that day. That guy does the test your test your thing. Well, this is the video Warner was talking about. Pretty sure. Mono neon. Oh yeah, he did say neon, right? Yeah, there's mono neon. This guy. We would not have known about this if it wasn't for Warner. So thank you, Warner. I like that one. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. It's a minute, minute, something of billions and billions. So maybe that is maybe you know since we uh, we like to uh, we haven't we haven't seen what Mr. Jim Baker was up to lately. Oh. And I was kind of thinking maybe we could pull up a. Uh, you want me to pull up something from him? I, or you, I can. You're right gonna here. do it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. We hadn't. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting for a little Jim Baker, man. He's one of my. Uh, 
The best is uh, the the Vic Burger, and actually we've talked about it so many times we'd probably get pulled if we like oh, yeah. play that one. But uh, um, I think Jim. we we can check out Jim Baker's Facebook home page. That's a public domain, I believe. Oh yeah. So uh, right up here, he spells up. it with two K's, man. So the Jim Baker Show, man. This is Jim Baker, and. Uh, these are all, I believe all these videos are public. Yeah. So we think, like public videos. You don't think you can play a Jim Baker one? I played them before. They didn't do nothing, did they? Or did they? Let's see what, uh, let's see what the, the rabbi, Pockets. this rabbi's got to say. Here. Oh, the rabbi. Wait, you got any audio in your oh, ears? Oh, man. No, I don't. Me either. Hold on a sec. I don't know why. I think it's still loading. All right. Jim Baker. So I see this video right here that Jim one Jim I evidently Jim thinks you he can cure coronavirus. Yeah, that's what with silver? Oh I don't know. Silver with what, with, uh, but I just see this video. We ought to try checking it out. It looks probably entertaining. He's gotta have it on Facebook, I think. Yeah, this is uh Vic Berger. Vice put it out. And his wife, they get on there. Sounds good when he puts like, let's see, videos come up. Let's have a look. Man, we might need to get a couple of them Jim Baker buckets. I wonder if they donate us a couple. Welfare of the ages. That was that one a week ago, five days ago. Oh, yeah, he's pumping some stuff out. Is he? Man, you cannot beat this shit. I don't think. He's got his own little food store. Prophetic story. warnings. In you know that? He's got his own John little... Paul Jackson said in 2007 he gave a prophetic word of headliners. And I believe it was 27... There ain't nothing like a good headliner. ...prophetic uh, happenings that were going to be coming upon the earth that he, that he saw. I believe it was number 22 on the list. I could be wrong. He said that there'd be a... This fucker had a list, coming. Angelo. Um, uh, people would be fearful about this possible pandemic and that it wouldn't come to fruition. That oh, now he's... That would come after it, that would come to fruition, and it would ultimately kill millions of people. Now, you can. this was in 2007. You can make a strong case that that first one that didn't come to fruition was Ebola. Oh, so fuck. So that's true. Ebola. Well, then where are we now? Mm, wow. Wow. It was in 2007 <laughs> that he gave you, uh, Wow. Senior CDC official Nancy Messonnier, she said coronavirus is moving closer to meeting the criteria of a pandemic. This is what got me right here, is they are planning to send information that if the coronavirus continues <coughs> to spread in the U.S., she wants the parents to prepare for schools to close and significant disruption in our lives. Mm. She said, we are asking, wow. I quote, we are asking the American public to prepare for the expectation that this might be bad. <laughs> There's other reports coming oh, out right it. now <laughs> that they're planning. Again, you're seeing huge this events might being be canceled. Bad. The Olympics is being canceled. <laughs> Travels are being canceled. We even talked about, That's where you, got you know, your information. We, we may have to even cancel our trip internationally because yeah. they're not going to allow people to travel back and forth. And, and wow. This was a week ago. Our military is preparing military. quarantine centers for the coronavirus patients in the U.S. The Pentagon has already announced it. The has Pentagon, Angelo. You, you've not hardly heard anybody talking about it. Yeah, the news <laughs> 11 military bases near major airports in the United States are setting up quarantine centers for the patients. And, uh, you know, and so the Pentagon already agreed the to house Pentagon. up to 1,000 people for quarantine. The Pentagon the coming in the for United us. States from areas <laughs> with the virus. So the government's preparing, and they always do this. The government say it again. prepares before the people do. And this is good. We want them to prepare. But the thing is, but the thing they the don't have the buckets. <laughs> are you are you all watching this news at all? Are you watching it in China? What's oh, what's going on there? Here we go. There? Here we fucking go. <laughs> they always got to take it there. China. China. He got China. Oh, this Peckerwood. 
I want to get the. Uh, I can't help that. I what? gotta pull up that little, the Vic Burger one, man. That's, it's yeah. so funny though. Old Vicky. We like listening to him. <laughs> Jim Baker. Oh man, so good. <laughs> He's got some crazy Trump ones too. Donald. The coronavirus tests are beautiful. That might be a good one. It's just one minute. go important right now and yesterday anybody that needs a test gets a test we they're there they're there the and the tests are beautiful the beautiful test the coronavirus tests are beautiful talk through it at least well, when we're just looking at the image the tests are beautiful we just get cool image behind us he's like vanna white right there he's showing it off the tests are all perfect <laughs> how many tests you got you, the, the the screen right now is incredible dude you got trump the full screen behind the you. test he's oh. like Van like, White. He was just up there, like picking on your butt a little bit. Look at it. It's big. It's <clears throat> I didn't want this one. Dang it. They just threw up some bull crap. I'm going to play this one. Oh, he's, he's, in, <laughs> he's standing <laughs> over my shoulder. <laughs> Isn't that good? They're beautiful. The tests are beautiful. No, he's doing it again. This has got to be like the best. He's like playing with shit on your desk right now. We linked it right up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the listeners out there, that uh, video has just got me laughing because we just got Trump in the background of. Gets a Josh. test. Of this Vic anybody, anybody, you get a test. What is he, fucking Oprah Winfrey? You get a test. Tests are beautiful, Ange. Yeah, they are. <laughs> anybody gets a test. All right. Yeah, that's good stuff. It is. All right. It's uh oh, it's about how long it would have been a long one today. Look at that backup you got on your thing now. That's dope. Oh you yeah. got a whole bunch of people. I got a Coast video. Guard, you got Jake Tapper, you got President. Yeah, I've seen Trump. that. Oh, uh, that's a uh Sam Cedar. He's funny, man. Old Sammy. Yeah, he's got a good show. I like I like listening to his uh show, Political. And you got Jim Baker. Oh, Jim. Apocalypse Food Buckets from uh, the Mythical Morning guys. Yeah. You got a Manganese shot. And then, uh, you know, we got that Harvey, Steve Harvey guy. Steve? He's another one that Vic likes to uh, pick on a little bit. Oh, that little Peckerwood? Yeah. You know. Steve. He's the pageant okay, guy, right? there you go, dude. He's the pageant guy, right? Yeah. Huh. We're just going to put him in the background. Yeah, we're just going to hang out with them. <laughs> this is entertaining for me. Thanks, guys. Um, maybe we could just... Uh, yeah, what time should... it is it? What time is it? <laughs> uh, we're two hours in right oh, now. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, we could... Uh, you know what would be really good? Tell me, Angelo. What uh, do you think would be really good at this particular time of the day? Oh, well, that I should probably just kick some tunes, you know? Oh, yeah. Real quick. Something cool. Yeah, time time to get out. It's 5.55. Oh, yeah. Dinner time. Dinner time. All right, dude. I'm going to leave you guys then with this uh, stolen car version. I think you guys will enjoy Everyone this. Everyone loves a stolen car. Yeah, you do. Manga Needs Show. Sonic Gardens Radio. I got video playing behind me. That's right. Well, right Jerry's now, a douchebag Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs>
Or, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey, have a good day. Thanks for having Sunday with us. Bang a Needs Show. Sonic Gardens Radio. Radio.